girl Sequoia from 7am and I am on with the amazing Feli Fresh, artist extraordinaire, has an amazing group with her three Aww. sisters called the Jasmine Sisters. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard about her, and if you haven't, you're about to hear all about her. We are going to get into some really cool details today. We're going to talk about having multiple careers and how you're able to juggle that and not be put in a box, the box that society likes to put you in, right? So first, before we get into that, I'm going to have Felicia just talk about herself a little bit, and then we will jump right into it. Okay. Like Sequoia said, I am in a singing group with my three sisters called the Jasmine Sisters. And I am from Los Angeles, California. Uh, we make music, I paint music, I create just anything related that's just artistic and I'm just the overall artist. <laughs> I love that. So when did you start painting? Because I know initially I knew you as being in the singing group with your sister. So when did painting become something that was natural for you? Well, for us, when we were working on our music, I would paint just as a gift to a lot of the producers and friends and people that are around us that were helping us. Mm. It really inspired me to create art for them because I appreciated their help so much and they are, were so talented. I was so inspired. And my first painting was actually for a producer who was just so skilled at piano and making music. And I, I just felt so moved and it came from my heart and I did it as a gift and it just started becoming something I started doing all the time. <laughs> That's so cool. But like, when did it become like a shift for you, like in your career? Because I know at first it was all about the music. Then all of a sudden I started seeing all of these paintings. And then I just saw you <laughs> with Dre, like give, gifting him a painting from like straight out of Compton. And I'm like, wait, when did this become a thing? So tell me more about that. Well, um, for us, like anyone that knows how the, the entertainment industry is or in, in any creative field, there's always waves. And whenever those different waves that happen in our career, uh, I guess I was always raised to like, be efficient with my time. Mm -hmm. So with every season, I feel like I want to use that time to be working on a new craft or be honing skills that I already do have. And I want to just use that time wisely. Uh, my mom's a piano teacher, my dad's a preacher, we grew up singing in church, uh, and music is something that's always a part of us, so I always would find ways to express that passion inside of me, and art just came out of it. <laughs> that's so cool, but how did you make that relationship happen to the point where, you know, you got with, like, Dr. Dre, like, that is Dr. Dre, like, Apple Beats <laughs> by Dre, like, multi-billion dollar career like in the making so like how did that relationship come about well that was just something that actually was just a perfect example of how i used my art to still pursue my other career which was music and they're related to each other and even when i when i met him it was just such a surreal thing it's pretty much a miracle that it happened <laughs> but even a painting like that i used art as a way to get into meet him and now he knows I exist and he knows who we are. It's like the weirdest thing. Right. And um, he didn't even realize I had painted it when um, he just, he didn't realize that I was in a singing group and there was all these things that he didn't realize. Like, that's you? Oh, uh, wow, you painted that? And and you're in a singing group with your sisters? And it was, all, it was just like such an amazing experience. And that's just a perfect example of using another avenue to get to where you gotta go. I love that. I think, so with 7AM, it's super important that we're educating our community. And I love the fact that you are able to kind of balance two different careers, although they're under the same umbrella, being an artist, but like being a visual artist and being a musician at the same time, because I know society likes to group us into one thing. Like specifically, I was a music video director for years, and then I came out to Silicon Valley and started perfuming. Yeah, that's how I met you. <laughs> exactly. I started pursuing a career in tech. And so as a tech entrepreneur, people are like, well, are you still directing music videos? Like what's going on? And I found myself being torn because I'm like, well, that was my former career, but that's like not a former career. It's still a talent that you have and it's still a talent that you possess, right? But you kind of feel yourself having to choose. Like, do you feel like you get trapped in that box at any point? A lot of times um, what I do is I, I'm very used to, I guess, balancing a lot of different things because I do have so many interests. Mm. Um, 
something that sounds cliche is for people to really go with their gut, follow your heart, use your instincts. And I pray a lot, you know, I rely on my faith to kind of know which way I should navigate um, in regards to which seasons in my life or what I should be doing. Mm. And a lot of times I do see it come together from experience. I just know that you have to just do what feels right to you. If something feels forced, then that's probably not the right way to go. Right. And right. It, be open to other ways of getting there because, hey, this is a millennium and there's so many different ways to get things done. And it's just being open and exploring more things about yourself. When you truly know yourself, that's when you find out where you got to go. <laughs> I agree. And I love that you talk about seasons because that, I think, is a prime example. Like, this may be your music season. This may be your art season. They might combine and, and cross each other. Like, you never know, <laughs> right? So having that focus and being able to shift gears and not letting society put you in that box and say, yeah, no, you're yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be a music you're gonna be a musician or no you're gonna be an, a visual artist and like <laughs> having that open mind I think a lot of people get trapped in that and another thing people kind of deal with is that fear because I know we've been all following the story of Kanye West how he's <laughs> gone through an he's an incredible musician right incredibly mm -hmm. talented but like as soon as he decided I want to do fashion people are like mm, not so much right so. Right. I think it's so interesting to see those pathways happen and for him to be like, no, like I want to do fashion because that is who I am as a creator. And I love the fact that you're like, I'm an artist. Like that doesn't necessarily mean I'm just a musician. I'm just, you know, a painter. I am an artist. So I think that's so cool. I guess if you're pursuing anything, even with Kanye, like if he wants to pursue something or if we feel like, if I feel like pursuing something else, I, it's always making sure that you're still putting out a quality product mm -hmm. and, and that's the most important thing and it, it has to be real, genuine and from your heart and that's when, you know, the possibilities are endless because it's real and it's from you. I totally agree with that. And what do you say to people who have that fear of like making that transition to the next step or like doing something different? Well, I feel like, like I mentioned before, it really is exploring more things about yourself so you truly know yourself so you work on your instincts and your intuition about things it really helps you find different ways and different talents that you may not know that you have and it can open so many doors for you it's just really not having that fear and, and being okay with trying new things and exploring more things about yourself that's the biggest thing i think i think that's awesome well cool so what are we working on now like where can we see you what are you still making music with your sisters are you do what what's yes, going on <laughs> you can find me at fellyfresh.com that's f-e-l-i fresh.com my instagram my twitter my facebook it's all the same my sisters and i are still working on music and we're just making sure we're putting out the best music you can ever possibly get from us and in the meantime, I am working on my art and doing the same thing and just doing what we love. And that's all that matters. <laughs> that is so perfect. And I know you, your sister just got off of The Voice. She was Team Pharrell, which was super dope to see. So how is she, how are you gonna, gonna manage all of this now newfound stardom? Like, how are you guys gonna do that as a group now? Well, my sisters and I, we are truly a group whether we're a music group or whether we're a family, we communicate all the time. We're always talking on group chat and emails and this and that. So we're always talking to each other about things that we want or dreams or things that we should try and things like that. Even when we are at dinner, it's a joint decision. Or what are you eating? Are we sharing? Like what's going on? <laughs> so for us, it's just really communicating with each other, over communicating with each other and really making sure we're all on the same page and that we are just, always making sure that we're all on the same path and we have the same goals in mind and that's mm. all that we do. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Felly Fresh, for joining us today. And if you guys don't know, you can check us out at 7am.life. And we look forward to everything you have going on and we will be keeping up with your story and seeing what you have in store for the future.